Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great and today we're going to be looking at your guys' dreadlocks. This is another episode of Dread Checks. I believe this is episode four. And they have been pretty interesting this whole way, so I'm really looking forward to what I'm gonna find today. Like I said in the previous episodes, make sure to tag at Great Locks and follow us to be featured. And I just realized right now, I don't know how I didn't pick this up, but we just reached 8,000 followers, that's crazy. Thank you guys so much, that means a lot. And we're gonna keep on growing. I wanna keep promoting you guys, keep showing you guys off on the page, and also don't forget, I can show you guys off on the Great Lux website. Greatlux.com is a place where you can find all hair products, you can find dreadlock products. It's mostly what you guys will like for sure, just because I'm leaning more towards dreadlocks on this channel, but you can get locking gel, dreadlock sponge, you know, crochet needle is very popular. And I mentioned that in the video that this is the number one tool that you're going to need in order to get dreadlocks. And interlocking tool is super important and shampoos and, and all kinds of other stuff that's on here. We also have videos which provide tutorials and everything like that. Jimmy Got Soul has some videos on there as well, which is pretty cool. You guys know her. But let's get into today's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com after or you can go check it out right now. But let's see who tagged greatlocks. Yo. These are clean. These look really good. Dang, these are clean. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen... I think those are straight hair dreadlocks. This is, what is it? Silver Simon Testa? Let me make sure. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say the regular name. What is it? Maverick. We're gonna say Maverick. But these are some really dope dreadlocks. They are straight hair dreadlocks. Let's go ahead and say... Probably has maybe a 1 to maybe a 2B, maybe 2C hair type. I'm leaning more towards the 2B. His hair may be a little wavy. Now it says more of a fashion page, so there's not really many pictures of his hair. But then again, I see him with short hair right here. So yeah, those are, I think they're synthetic dreadlocks. But besides them being synthetic, they still look really dope. They look really clean. And of course they look really clean because they are pre-made. But if, I don't know, like are these his real dreads? I don't think they are, but they, no, nah, there's no way that can be. Okay, from the looks of his timeline, it looks like these are synthetic dreadlocks, but we can all say that these are actually really dope. If they were real dreads, I feel like they'd just be even better. But even though they're not real dreadlocks, they still look really clean. Now let's go ahead and break down everything. If you were to have actual long hair, the hair is probably about 15 inches, maybe 16 inches. And say he had a 2B hair type, I would recommend a twist and rip method to start the dreadlocks out. And to maintain them, I would recommend anybody, if you have straight hair, if you have any hair whatsoever, Whatsoever, and you want to get dreadlocks use a crochet needle and what you would do is pull in all the loose hairs with crochet needling and then pull in all the new growth with crochet needling as well and that's how they turn out good a little fun fact about synthetic dreadlocks is they create them with a crochet needle most of the time so that just goes to show crochet needling on that hair type would get your dreadlocks to look exactly like his because believe it or not even though he does have synthetic dreadlocks if you follow the method which I told you uh, of course you would have to bleach your hair to get it this color. It looks really clean. I like this color, especially with the contrast of his actual hair color being dark brown. I think it has an overall good look. So like I said, just a quick breakdown. If you have a 2B hair type, use twist and rip to start out your dreadlocks, then use crochet needling to maintain your dreadlocks, and then you'd have to bleach your hair obviously afterward. And I would definitely recommend bleaching your hair afterwards versus before because you're going to put your hair through so much trying to maintain it and you don't want to have any breakage, especially with your hair being weaker with it being bleached. Oh, here's one with this hair pulled back and it looks really clean. You can tell with this picture that they are synthetic, but overall they're really dope. I like the contrast between the roots and the actual links of the dreadlocks. And I like the way they look maintained. They're not super messy, but overall really clean look. You can see that some of his dreadlocks are kind of standing up in the front, but that will go down over time, especially if he maintains his new growth into his dreadlocks. They'll look really good. Now, unfortunately, there is only a few photos of him with his dreadlocks on his page, but overall, they're really clean. They're really dope. Comment down below what you think about the dreadlocks. I'm gonna go ahead and rate these from one to 10. I will give them, if they weren't synthetic dreadlocks, I would definitely give them a nine because these are super clean. I like how they're all the same shape. It just has like a lot of character to it because they're very full and they're like puffy at the roots and they stand up really nice. So these almost look like he has more of a tighter curl pattern, but with them being synthetic dreadlocks, you know, I'll still give him a nine just because of the way they look. I'm going for the look. I'm not even gonna care about the material or whatever. I'll give these a nine because they look really clean. But I gave my rating, comment down your rating down below and also comment down below who you wanna see next. And don't forget to follow Great Locks on Instagram and go check out the Great Locks website. It is right here and all the dreadlock products are on the website. You could pick up all of them here with the click of a button. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.